Hey guys, Reckless Owners here, back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this native chain future house kind of style drop. So recently, I got some suggestions to show you how to make a native chain style drop. So the final result was something like this. So now let's start for the presets. First we have the main lead, sounding like this. And then we have the bass step, sounding like this. So all the presets are coming from Future Bounce Room 2. So if you're in the preset pack, make sure to check the link down below. You will get all the presets you need to make Future House. So now let's have in the sound design of the first lead. Sounding like this. So it's like a preset. I'm gonna go for two saw waves. Six unisons on the first one. Slightly detuned. Seven on the second. Detuned kind of the same way. In shape F1. With a kind of short decay time. Sustain around halfway. And some release. Now we're gonna select FM from A. Let's clear this work got some more character per sound. So around F1 to it. And set it to around half A. Next thing I'm gonna gather always a portamento to give the slight effect to the sound. Then we're gonna filter it, so cut off around the whole thing. And for one to the cut off. Add some more drive, fatness. And that's it for us later, so now let's dive in effects. So first we're gonna add some hyper dimension. This slightly hyper sound dimension. That's on distortion. We're gonna go for the hard clip. Quite a lot actually. Sounding like this. And some chorus. We'll give this kind of effect. So let's mix it into one here. And some EQing. Kind of lows because we have the bass now for that. So around here. And add some highs. Just around here. Now we're getting some reverb and delay. With a ping pong. Reverb with low cut because you don't want any lows in the reverb. And some more compression just to boost the sound and to give a bit more punch. So shape it. Something, I guess. And that's it for the first lead, so now let's make a bass step. So the bass step sound like this. It's a bit more complicated, so I'm gonna guide you to the to sound design of it and not make it from scratch because there are too much par parameters to, to create exactly the same sound. So first we have this. I don't know what's called about the last wave table position of the basic shapes. It's kinda a weird salt square is wave table. Sounding like this. Quickly, let me disable all the effects. Sounding like this. It's lower down one octave. And it's FM from B. As there B, we have the saw wave. Clear the FM. We'll add some more grittiness to the sound. It's a saw wave, lower down one octave. Three unisons, slightly detuned. With envelope 2, rather to the detune. As well, give this kind of effect. So it makes it a bit more grittier. Now it's a sub us later. It's just a clear. It's just a clear square wave. Now we're down two octaves. Just to get some, to give more character in the low ends. And some noise. To add some more texture in the high ends. Then we all filter it with a low 24 cut off with envelope two to it. Envelope two is really short. And flow with quite a lot of attack, short decay time, and a little bit of sustain. So the filter will give this kind of effect. Get some dry fatness. So now let's have an effects. First we have the zero square distortion, we normally don't use it, but 
It will make it sound really gritty. We have envelope 2 to the drive, set it to all the way up, almost. Save the mix. Now we added some chorus. There's a format filter that will give this kind of format effect. So we just slightly mix it in, give some more texture to the sound. That's what to really open up a sound after the filter, sounding like this. We're just boosting gain. And some reverb for the low cut. And EQing is barely doing anything, it's only dipping the high end of the bass a bit more. So that's it for the bass preset. So altogether the sounds will sound like this. And that's it for the Nathan James style Fridge House drop. So if you liked the video please leave a like and see more at the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next videos.